Hey everyone, welcome to Traveling Insider, today we'll look at the top 10 best places to visit in Australia. Australia is a land of dreams. From the sacred legends of the Aboriginal Dreamtime, when the great spirits conjured the coral reefs, rainforests, and red deserts, to armchair travelers who describe Australia as their dream destination. The world's smallest continent and largest island, Australia, is almost the same size as the United States, but with a population the size of New York State and some of the quirkiest wildlife on the planet. Australia is also a land of staggering contrasts and spectacular beauty. Along the coast, you can explore vibrant cities, vast sand islands, ancient rainforests, and one of the planet's most awe-inspiring natural wonders, the Great Barrier Reef. Top it all off with a laid-back feel and friendly people, and it's no wonder Australia scores top billing on bucket lists around the world. Create your own adventures with our list of the top attractions in Australia. Now, before we continue, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so you won't miss a single upload. Now, let's get on with the list. Number 1. Great Barrier Reef Marine Park. You can't leave Australia without seeing the Great Barrier Reef. This World Heritage-listed natural wonder is one of the largest living structures on the planet. It's so vast, you can see it from outer space. For divers, snorkelers, island aficionados, and nature lovers, it's a bucket list destination. In 1975, the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park was established to protect its fragile ecosystems. These include more than 3,000 coral reefs, 600 continental islands, including the beautiful Whitsunday Group, 300 coral caves, and inshore mangrove islands. One of the seven wonders of the natural world, the park stretches for 2,300 kilometers along with the state of Queensland on Australia's east coast. Not surprisingly, the Great Barrier Reef is one of the best places to visit in Australia for diving and snorkeling. The astounding array of marine life includes soft and hard corals, more than 1,600 species of tropical fish, sharks, dugongs, dolphins, turtles, rays, and giant clams. Travelers have many options for visiting the Great Barrier Reef. You can cruise around the islands, hop aboard a sightseeing flight, take day trips to the islands, or snorkel and dive the reefs. Number 2. Blue Mountains National Park, New South Wales. A UNESCO World Heritage Site, the beautiful Blue Mountains National Park is a hiker's paradise and a popular day trip from Sydney. It lies an easy 81-kilometer drive west of the city. Named for the blue haze emanating from the many eucalyptus trees, this stunning park protects more than 664,000 acres of wilderness. On a visit here, you can explore dramatic gorges, waterfalls, aboriginal rock paintings, and 140 kilometers of hiking trails. The most famous attractions in Blue Mountains National Park are the towering sandstone rock formations called the Three Sisters. Hiking, abseiling, rock climbing, mountain biking, and horseback riding are all popular things to do in the park. Number 3. Bondi Beach, Sydney. Bronze bodies, blonde sand, backpackers, and surf, throw it all together, and you get one of the world's most famous beaches. Only 15 minutes by car from Sydney's city center, Bondi Beach is a great spot for a taste of Sydney's beach culture. Bask on the golden sands, surf the breaks, or take a cool dip on a hot summer's day. Few cities in the world lay claim to such an enticing slice of sand and see so close to the city. No wonder it's one of Sydney's best beaches. Away from the shore, you'll find plenty of things to do in Bondi. Take a stroll along the Bondi to Bronte Coastal Walk. It begins at the southern end of the beach and follows the coastline for six scenic kilometers along sandstone cliffs. And if you work up an appetite, you'll find plenty of cafes and restaurants nearby. You can also hunt for bargains at the Sunday markets or swim some laps in the ocean pool. A word to the wise, if you're taking a dip at Bondi, make sure you swim between the red and yellow flags. Strong riptides often sweep unsuspecting swimmers out to sea, especially at the southern end of this kilometer-long strand. Number 4. Great Ocean Road, Victoria. Great Ocean Road is one of the world's top scenic drives. Built to provide employment during the Depression, the road stretches for 300 kilometers along Australia's rugged southeast coast, winding along plunging sea cliffs. It stretches from the surfing town of Torquay to the town of Allensford, near Warrnambool. One of the top attractions of Great Ocean Road is Port Campbell National Park. 
This is where you can see the wind and wave sculpted rock formations known as the Twelve Apostles, London Bridge, the Arch, and Lockard Gorge. From the air, these rock formations look like giant puzzle pieces adrift along the coast, lashed by the pounding surf of the Southern Ocean. Number 5. Sydney Opera House. Mention Sydney, Australia, and most people think of the Opera House. Shaped like huge shells or billowing sails, this famous building on Sydney's Bennelong Point graces the list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites and is one of the world's great architectural icons. Touring the interior of the Sydney Opera House is rewarding, but its striking architecture is perhaps best appreciated from a distance. One of the best sites to photograph this top Sydney tourist attraction is Mrs. Macquarie's chair in the Royal Botanic Gardens, or you can hop aboard a harbour cruise or ferry and capture a photo from the water as you glide past. Number 6. Melbourne's Culture. Melbourne, Australia's second largest city, is a popular stop on many Australian itineraries, especially for culture vultures. Galleries, theatres, restaurants, shops, and its distinctly European feel are the main draws of this sophisticated city on the Yarra River. It's also a green city, with parks, gardens, and open spaces occupying almost a third of its total area. Feel like getting back to nature? Follow the Aboriginal Heritage Walk at the Royal Botanic Gardens. And if sports culture is top of your agenda, catch a game at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. Melbourne is also rich in history. You can see it in the grand Victorian buildings funded by the Gold Rush, and you can feel it as you shop in the elegant arcades in Queen Victoria Market, which has been selling goods to Melburnians for more than a century. Number 7. Broome, Western Australia. Broome, in Western Australia's north, was once the pearl capital of the world. Today, it's a booming tourist town and the gateway to the spectacular Kimberley region. Broome's star tourist attraction is Cable Beach. This seemingly endless stretch of white sand and turquoise water is one of Australia's best beaches, and riding camels at sunset is one of the most popular things to do here. Other Broome highlights include the Red Cliffs of Gantholm Point and the Malcolm Douglas Crocodile Park, where you can get up close to crocs, cassowaries, and kangaroos. Number 8. Kangaroo Island, South Australia. Nature takes center stage at Kangaroo Island. On this unspoiled island off South Australia's Fluria Peninsula, kangaroos hop along the powdery shores, sea lions and penguins frolic in the crystal clear waters, and koalas cling to the fragrant eucalyptus trees. Kangaroo Island's top attractions are made by Mother Nature. See the striking, wind-sculpted rock formations, known as the Remarkable Rocks and Admiral's Arch in Flinders Chase National Park. Surf towering dunes and look for wildlife on scenic hiking trails along soaring sea cliffs and through pristine forests. Number 9. St. Clair National Park, Tasmania. Cradle Mountain Lake St. Clair National Park is one of Tasmania's tourism treasures and nirvana for nature lovers. Sparkling lakes, serrated dolerite peaks, alpine heathland, and dense forests characterize the raw, glacier-carved wilderness here. One of the park's most distinctive features is 1,616-meter Mount Asa, the highest point in Tasmania. As you might expect, hiking here is fantastic. Favorite trails include the Weindorfer Walk, a 6-kilometer loop through dense forests, and Lake Dove Walk, with breathtaking vistas of Cradle Mountain, 1,545 meters. Stand on the summit of Cradle Mountain, and you can soak up stunning views of the Central Highlands. Experienced hikers can also tackle the famous 80-kilometer overland track, which runs south from Cradle Valley to stunning Lake St. Clair, Australia's deepest lake. Number 10. Sydney Harbour Bridge. Along with the Opera House, the Sydney Harbour Bridge is one of Australia's top architectural icons. Affectionately called the Coat Hanger, this impressive feat of construction is the largest steel arch bridge in the world. It was completed in 1932, 40 years before the Sydney Opera House. One of the top things to do in Sydney is a guided ascent to the top of the bridge, where you can enjoy spectacular views over the harbour and city. Rising 134 metres above the harbour, the bridge spans 500 metres, connecting Sydney's north shore to the central business district. In addition to the pedestrian path, two railway lines extend over the bridge, as well as eight lanes for road traffic, and the direction of each lane can be switched to accommodate traffic flow. Which of these places would you like to visit in the near future? Please tell us in the comments down below. 
And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, share it with your friends, and make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so you won't miss a single upload. So that's it for today, and I'll see you in the next video.